The complete one hour training guide for the Canon EOS digital SLR camera is available to download now in high definition from learncamera.com. Much of the functionality for configuring the camera is accessed through a series of on-screen menus. I consider most of these secondary to the action of taking a picture, so rather than clutter the camera with too many buttons, Canon has wisely provided access through a display screen. To access the menu system, we first need to ensure the camera is switched on. Press the menu button once. Depending on the mode and model of shooting, the camera and menu system may look slightly different, but again, as with all EOS series, the way we operate the menu system remains constant. In fully automatic, we have access to five menus denoted at the top. These are categorised as Shooting Menu 1, Playback Menu 1 and 2, and Setup Menu 1 and 2. To navigate between menus, we use the right and left arrow keys. Under each menu, we can see a number of options. At a single glance, all available options are always visible. To select an option, we use the up and down arrow keys. To change the value of a setting, Press the set button once. You will now be presented with a list of values to choose from. The list always highlights the current value. Use the up and down arrows to select a new value and press the set button once to make the change. Let us take a look at each setting in turn, starting with the shoot menu. Quality allows us to change the quality or dimensions of the image. Typically, the smaller the quality and size, the less space is required to store the image on your memory card. The bracketed number is an indication of how many photographs can be stored at that resolution. We will cover this in more detail later, but I always look to capture at the best quality and highest resolution available to me when shooting. If you want to return to the menu without making a change, then pressing the menu button once will return you back preserving the original setting. You can prevent the camera making beeping sounds. Release shutter without a card has no known benefit to me as a photographer. I have always had it disabled, at least that way I know that there is no card present when I try and release the shutter. Image review sets the time an image is automatically displayed on screen after it has been taken. This is a personal preference. I choose to keep it off and use the review mode if I want to review the image in more detail once taken. Peripheral illumination correction allows the camera to compensate for the natural vignette that occurs as light drops off towards the edge of the picture. Vignette can be desirable, for example, in portraits, but less so for action or sports shots. Red eye reduction is achieved by shining a small light to cause the pupil of the eye to dilate, thus reducing the chance of red eye occurring. As you can see, we're given very few shooting options in automatic. Next, we move on to the playback menu. It may prove useful to manually protect images to prevent them being accidentally deleted. Remember, once it's deleted, it is gone forever. Press set once. We can now navigate through the collection using the right and left arrow keys. To lock an image and prevent it being deleted, press the set button once. You will notice a key symbol is displayed on screen to denote it is now locked. To unlock, simply press the set button again. To return to the menu, press the menu button once. Applying exactly the same procedure to rotate images, we can rotate an image 90 degrees incrementally to ensure it is correctly aligned. To erase images, the camera has a slightly more involved process to prevent accidental deletion. Begin by finding the images you wish to delete using the left and right arrow keys. Use either up or down to select or deselect an image for deleting. You can continue selecting additional images. Note the counter displays a total count of images selected for deletion. Press the erase button once. You need to confirm the action by selecting OK and pressing the Set button. Press the menu button once to return. The process for deleting all images on card just asks you to confirm before continuing with no image preview, but note that it will not delete the images you have protected. 
Press menu twice to return. Print order and slideshow are covered in detail later on, but essentially allow you to connect the camera to an external monitor or printer. Histogram allows you to select which type of histogram is the primary display style. These are discussed later in greater detail. Image jump is useful to configure depending on the number of images you have on your memory card. It enables the jog wheel to jump through your image collection in increments of 1, 10 or 100. Alternatively, you can jump by date or filter stills or movies. I typically keep this to 10. We will see later on how to use this during image playback. Control over HDMI allows either compatible devices to control the camera. For example, if you connect the camera to a compatible television, you are able to control the camera from the TV remote for viewing purposes. The setup menu gives you the opportunity to fine tune the camera to your personal preferences. Auto power off will switch off after a given amount of time unused. Auto rotate will correctly align portrait shots for camera or TV playback. Format is a way of cleaning the memory card of all its contents, including all protected images. Everything is lost forever. If you find a card is being problematic or cannot be read or written to, then a format can sometimes sort the problems out. File numbering is a personal choice and can be reset if so desired. It will return the file numbering system to 1. LCD Auto Off is great as it uses a little sensor under the viewfinder to detect you are holding it to your face and turn off the LCD display so you are not distracted by the light. Screen Color allows you to choose a color display layout that suits your preference. Some are more suited to night photography than others. Adjusting the brightness of the LCD display is especially useful at night when the LCD can appear too bright. Date, time, language and video system are localised dependent on where you live, the language you speak natively and the type of video system you use. The camera ships set to your country defaults. It may be necessary sometimes to change the video system if you are travelling abroad for TV playback. Sensor cleaning provides a mechanism whereby the sensor vibrates to shake dirt from it. By default, this camera cleans the sensor every time you switch it off. Live view is a great feature which uses the LCD to display the contents of the viewfinder. This is quite involved so we will cover it in more detail shortly.